Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to learn about PBS Kids Scratch and Scratch Junior. These are both the same app. They just have different characters. Today, we are going to show you what the PBS Kids Scratch app looks like. Press start. First, we're going to play you a movie of what our final project is going to look like. We are going to make a treasure hunt. I'm going to press the green flag to start. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Okay, where do we go? Follow me. It's not in the piano. It's not in the refrigerator. Here it is. Happy birthday. Now I'm going to show you what the screen looks like and we're going to learn about all the different things that are on this screen. First on the left, we have characters. I have chosen a boy and a girl and if you want to find a new character, you can press the plus. If you want to delete a character, you press down on one of your characters and press the red X. Then we have up here at the top, how to get the settings. I'm going to press the settings and I can scroll down and I can see that there are lots of settings to choose from. When you pick one, you press the green check at the top. Next to the settings, we have the ABC button. That is how I made this title, Treasure Hunt. We have the green flag. The green flag is how you start everything. And then when you want to reset it, you press this blue button here. Then on the right, we have our storyboard. These are all the different scenes we have in our story. We are going to code some action in our story to form a plot. A plot means what's happening in the story. So down on the bottom is where we do our coding. We have different color blocks down at the bottom and each color does something different. We have yellow for starting. That's where we have our green flag. We have blue for movements, such as going forward and backward, up and down, turning around and jumping. The pink block has special things like talking speech bubbles, growing and shrinking, and even disappearing. The green button you can use your microphone to make sounds. The orange button has time, stopping, going faster, and making loops. And finally, the red button has the ending tiles that will take you to the next scene. Okay, let's get started. To get started, we're going to press the home button. To make a new project, we're going to press the blue plus. It first starts out with the dot character and we're going to delete her. So I'm going to hold my finger down on this yellow square rectangle and I'm going to press the red X. Now I'm going to add my characters. So I'm going to press the blue plus. I'm going to go down and find the odd squad kids. I'm going to choose this guy with the pink hair and press the green check. And then I'm going to get the girl. So I'm going to press the plus again, scroll down, click on what I want and press the green check. Now I'm going to get my first setting. I'm going to choose the hallway. You can choose whatever you want and whatever characters you want. I'm going to move the girl over here and the boy over here. Now the girl is facing the wrong way, so I'm going to get started coding. I'm going to come down here and press the yellow block. I'm going to drag the green flag because you always want to start with the green flag. Then the first thing I'm going to do is turn her around. So I'm going to press the blue blocks and have her go one to the left. 
and when I click on that, she turns around. Now I'm going to code the boy. So I'm going to press the boy at the top and I'm going to get started. You always want to start with a green flag. Then I'm going to make him say something right away. So I'm going to go to the pink blocks and I'm going to type in. Oh, first I'm going to delete this. I'm going to say, let's go on a treasure hunt. It already had all those words because I did this already. Excellent. Now I'm going to put my keyboard down by pressing on the, put the keyboard down button right here. Okay, after he says something, he's going to wait a few seconds. So I'm going to go to the orange blocks, drag down the clock timer. I'm going to tap right on that number 10, and I'm going to change it to not make him wait too long. I'm going to change it to 5. Then he's going to say, follow me. So I'm going to go back to the pink, drag down another speech bubble, tap in there, delete it and say, follow me and give him an exclamation mark. Put the keyboard down. After he says, follow me, he's going to move to the left. So I'm going to do a left arrow and I'm going to change it to three to walk off. So let's see if that works. So I'm going to go up to the top here and press the green flag and try it out. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Follow me. Okay, but he stays there. So I'm gonna make him disappear. So I'm gonna go to the pink blocks and this one right here, if you put your, if you hold your finger on it, it tells you what it does. So I'm going to choose this one because that means hide. Okay, so now I'm going to reset and press the green flag again. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Follow me. And he disappears. Perfect. Now I'm going to do the coding for the girl. I already turned her around and she needs to wait until the boy says, let's go on a treasure hunt. So I'm going to put the, the timer there and I'm going to have her wait five and then she's going to say, okay, after he says, let's go on a treasure hunt. So I'm gonna tap on that, delete that and say, oh, okay. Then she's going to follow him to the left and she's gonna go three. No, she has to go a little bit farther. She's gonna go five. Let's try that out. Let's see if that's far enough. So I'm gonna press reset and my green flag. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Okay, uh-oh, she has to go a lot farther than that. Okay, so I'm going to change that. Let's try 15. Okay, and then she needs to disappear. So I'm gonna get that hide and let's reset and try it. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Okay. Oh, he didn't move. Why not? Okay, well, that's good enough. Okay, now we're going to make another scene. So we're going to press the blue plus over on the right. And here we have dot again, so we need to delete her. So I'm going to hold down and press delete. Now, instead of adding the new characters here, First, I'm going to add my scene, and this time I'm gonna to go to the music room, which is right here, press the green check. And instead of getting new characters, I'm gonna go back over here to the first scene. I'm gonna press reset, so I see my characters. And I'm going to drag the characters from the left and drop them into the second scene. So here I go, I'm going to drag him and drop him in there, drag her and drop her in there. And that way all of their coding also gets copied over. So that's great. Now the last thing I need to do is 
I need to have a way for them to go from the first slide, the first scene to the second scene. So I'm gonna go down here to my end block and see how it says scene number two. I'm gonna put that on the end of one of my characters. And it only needs to be on one of them. It'll work. Okay, so let's go to scene number two. And it copied over the coding, so we need to make some changes. So instead of let's go on a treasure hunt, he's gonna say, it's not in the piano. It's not in the piano. I already typed this, so it remembered that. Then he's going to wait. And how long is he going to wait? I think that's good, but then he's not gonna say anything else. So this is how you delete some of the blocks. You just pull them over. You can only pull them over from the right. So I'm gonna get rid of this one that says, follow me. And I'm going to throw it up and it just disappears. And then I'm gonna connect this and that should be good for him. Now I'm gonna code the girl. And she's going to walk a little bit farther because I don't want her covering up the piano. So I'm gonna have her walk through seven. She's gonna wait. She doesn't need to say okay, so I'm going to take those apart get rid of that. But since she already walked seven, she doesn't need to walk 15. So I'm going to change that to seven. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Let's press the green flag. It's not in the piano. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to do my next scene. So I'm going to press the blue plus on the right. We're going to get rid of dot. We're going to choose the scene. Let's go to the kitchen and press the green check. Then we're going to go back to scene number two. We're going to copy our characters, so I'm just going to drag them in there. And I'm going to, <clears throat> while I'm on scene two, I'm going to go to scene three on one of my characters. So I take the ending block from scene three and I put it on the end. And now I'm going to code scene three. Okay, if you don't see the characters, you can always just press your reset button. Here they are. Now, let's see what we're gonna do differently for scene three. It's basically the same thing, except he's just gonna say, it's not, it's not in the refrigerator. It's not in the refrigerator. Okay, so that's good. I think everything else is good. Now we're gonna go on to make scene four. We're gonna get rid of dot. We're going to choose the playroom this time. Green check. And then we're gonna go back to scene three to copy our characters over. I love that sound. And then we're going to put our end tile. And again, it doesn't matter which character you put it on. You only need one of those. Okay, so now we're going to code on scene four. Let's press reset. Okay, that's good. Now the girl needs to get out of the way of the slide. So I'm gonna code her first. So she moves seven. That should be good. I think seven is gonna to be too far. We're gonna make her go five. She's gonna wait. And then she's not going to move. You know what, let's go to the boy and code him first. All right, the boy this time, he's going to turn around so that he can face her. So I'm gonna pull all these over. I'm gonna to go to the blue movement and I'm going to make him turn to the right. And then he's going to say, here it is. So I'm going to delete this. Here it is. Then he's going to wait 
And then because he's so excited, he's going to jump up and down. So I can get rid of these two blocks. So I'm just going to throw them up to the top. He's getting so excited, he's going to jump up and down. And now I'm going to show you what a loop is. So in the orange blocks right here, this one over here, this big one, is called a loop. So I can put this around this jumping up and down action, and I can make him jump about six times. So he'll jump twice and repeat that six times. So what is that? That's 12. That's a lot. I think that's okay. Then he's going to say, happy birthday. So let's go to the pink, get another speech bubble, and type, uh-oh, I forgot to delete, and type, happy birthday. He's really excited about that. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to put three exclamation marks. Okay, he's done, so now let's go back to the girl. So the girl is going to move over five, five. she's gonna wait five, and then she's gonna start jumping. So let's get rid of her movement. And let's get a jump, and let's do a loop. Let's make her jump as well. Okay, good, now, we have to do the birthday cake. So I'm gonna press the plus, I'm gonna find the birthday cake. Here it is. So a character doesn't have to be a person. It can be a thing. So now I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to make it go down the slide and then move over. So I need to start with a green flag and it's going to wait First, the cake has to wait until the boy says something. So let's make it wait about three seconds. And then we're going to have it move over. We're going to make it go down the slide. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the left, down, left, down. We're going to keep doing that. But instead of keep doing left and down, I'm going to loop. So let me get rid of those. So I'm going to put two of them around my loop this time, and I'm going to loop that, let's try four times. And then after it goes down the slide, it has to go to the left a little bit. So let's make it go to the left about eight times. And then that's good for that. So let's press reset. Let's press the green flag and see what happens. Here it is. Oh, that's good. Okay, happy birthday. So the last little fun thing, I'm going to add one more character. I'm going to do a shooting star. Let's find the shooting star. And I'm going to, oops, going to move that shooting star across the room. So when the green flag goes, it has to wait until all that stuff happens. So I'm going to make that wait 60 seconds. And then it's going to move across the room, which is about 15. Okay, let's reset it and see if that works. Uh-oh, the girl is too close. Let's stop it and reset it again. The girl starts about right there. Okay, let's do it again. Here it is, and then they start jumping. Now the cake goes behind her, that's not good. Let's stop that, let's reset it. Okay, the girl needs to be here, the cake needs to be in front. So I need to touch the cake so that it'll go in front of her. All right, let's try that again. Here it is. So the cake goes in the front and in the middle, that's perfect. Happy birthday, and then the star goes across. All right, I love it. So let's play the whole thing. To play the whole thing, I'm going to go here, but if I press play, it's going to start playing on that scene. So let's go back to our working page and let's press the first scene. 
right here because we want to play it from the beginning. Okay, are we ready? Let's press play. And then the green flag over here. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Okay. Oh, she kind of bumps into him. Follow me. It's not in the piano. Boy, she's really moving fast. It's not in the refrigerator. <laughs> here it is. Happy birthday. All right. Well, that's good enough. There are some things that you can tweak. Let's go back. You can work on uh, waiting, having her wait a little bit longer and, and things like that. But that's basically what you wanna do. Then when you're done, you can go to this yellow shape. You can give your project a name. Make sure you capitalize the second word because it's a title. And then you can go to the four parents and you can do this math problem. Hopefully you can do that. And then you can email it to your teacher right here. You can put their email or my email in the to section and send it to them. Or you can do what I did and you can screen record it. I will show you how to screen record next. Okay, everybody, this is how you do a screen recording. First, you have to go to your settings gear, and on the left, you wanna find Control Center. When you find Control Center on the left, then you will see all of these things in the middle here. Some have red minuses and some have green pluses. The ones that are already in my control center are on the top, and the ones that are not in my control center are down on the bottom. So you wanna find screen recording, which looks like this, and you wanna make sure that it's on the top. So for example, if you want to get rid of something from your control center, you can press the red minus and then remove it from your control center and it will go back down here. If you wanna add something to your control center, then you press the green plus, and you will see it will come back up to the top. And if you wanna change the order, then you can grab these things, and you can drag it up. All right, so I put my screen recording in my control center. Now I'm gonna press my home button, and now I'm going to drag my finger from the right to bring my control center down. So here's my control center. And you can see right here is the screen recording. Now I'm already screen recording, so I can't really show you what happens when you press on it, but I will tell you that you need to hold down on it first to make sure you turn the microphone on so we can hear your voice and then when, then you can start it, it'll say start recording. And then don't forget to stop it up at the top when you're done. So when you're recording, you will see it recording up at the top. There's a red recording button that's kind of flashing. And then when you're done, you're going to press it to stop and it will save into your camera roll. So now I'm going to press stop. Now I'm gonna go down to the camera roll and make sure it, it's in there. And here it is, it's saved to my camera roll. Now you can just play it for family and friends. Okay, everybody, good luck. Have fun making your own Scratch Junior with PBS Kids. Bye-bye.